welcome y'all scare me i wasn't expecting y'all this morning or this afternoon or this evening wherever you're at in the world but i'm glad you stopped by if you want to know who i am i am creations with helen if you like what you see subscribe to me and make sure you click the notification bell so you don't miss out on any content my stuff is dope and I think you will like it. Today, I'm gonna make some homemade chili my way. So let's get right into it, okay? I'm gonna show you the ingredients that I am using. I'm using 98, I mean, sorry, 99% fat-free lean ground turkey. Y'all know I love lean ground turkey. And we're gonna use some kidney beans. Fire roll, sliced it, tomatoes, whatever you choose. You get to do whatever you like, okay? But I'm doing it my way. And I like to use the chili powder that you can put in your chili. All the ingredients is on the back. If you need to know what you need to add, it's a cheat sheet. I love it this way. Somebody I work with told me about this because my mom used to make it with the chili block. If y'all know what I'm talking about, comment below and say chili block old school. My mama did that. In the South, I couldn't find no chili box over here. So I had to come up with a different way and a different strategy. And this works just as good. So let's get right into it, okay? I love gas stove, okay? I'm old school. Let's get this ground turkey in here. And we're just gonna fry it. I forgot one ingredient, which y'all know I like. And that is my mushrooms. I don't have any mushrooms. I'm kinda sad, but we're gonna just use what we have and make the best out of it, okay? Pretty much, we're gonna dump it. Get in here. Mm -hmm. I'm cleaning this out. Most people don't. My mother taught me that and put a little bleach in it. So when you put it in your trash, it doesn't smell like bloody meat. And that attracts bugs. So I'm gonna let that just simmer. I said simmer. <laughs> let that just stay in there and I'm gonna jump it in the trash. Now let's get back into the uh, cooking the turkey, okay? Boothing always talk about some crackers. <laughs> he always talking about some crackers. I like cornbread. I used to eat crackers with it growing up and not as much, but he always talk about some crackers. So, which one y'all like better, crackers or cornbread? And what time of season do y'all like chili? Most people like to cook it, cook it only in the fall season or winter season. My mom used to cook it all year round. But today I had a craving for it because it rained all night yesterday in this Georgia weather <laughs> and it was stormy. So I was like, hmm, this will be a good day to cook some good old fashioned chili, okay? And that's what I'm gonna do. See, anybody that knows me, it doesn't need a lot of oil to cook it down. So we are gonna let this cook and I'll be right back. I have some leftover bell peppers. I love bell peppers. I'm just gonna dump it in the pal, okay? Dump it in the pal while I'm letting that cook. I'm gonna dump this in here too. Just dump it all in here. As for your kidney beans, we gotta drain the juice out of it. So let's do that. And then I'm gonna jump in there. So let's drain the juice out. You can use whatever type of kidney beans you want, whatever brand is whatever floats your boat. Today I'm using this brand because it was on sale. I just use whatever was on sale. Okay. Trying to make sure I get all that stuff out of it with the juice. Okay. Get it all out. And I want all my beans. Now let's dump it in here. Dump, 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 dump. Dump, 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 dump. And all this stuff in here, I'm going to put some water in it. Because I don't like nothing to go to waste. Because you're going to need some water anyway to put in the uh, thing for your chili. Just a little bit. I'm going to even get the juice out of here. Just a little bit. Now 
I'll put the slow cooker on high because I want it to eat it in a few hours. I don't want to wait. So I put it on high. All right. Let's get this to this meat. Man, I wish I had some bell I mean, some mushrooms. I got this big old pan because I thought I had some mushrooms in here. And y'all know I don't have no mushrooms, so. Look kind of weird, don't y'all think? Anybody that know me on my channel I always do mushrooms. <laughs> but if you don't like mushrooms, you don't have to do it. I just do it. I like my stretch my meat to make it look a lot fuller. You know, that's just me. I'm gonna turn the owl down just a bit. And see, when you have lean turkey, you don't have all that greasy fat in the pan. See, you pay a little bit more, but it's worth it. It's worth the time. You get all your good old fashioned juicy ingredients. See how that looks? Some people don't like lean. I like them. Do y'all think y'all can do this? And let me know how y'all cook y'all chili. Maybe we should have a chili cook off one day live. How y'all think about that? I like different things. And I like to get different recipes from other people because that makes you grow. I know y'all probably seeing what is this? This is like a a meat masher to make sure it grinds all the way down. I got this off of Amazon, but you can get it in the stores. You know it's green, because green is my favorite color. So, this right here makes me think about my childhood. My mom and dad we used to cook chili a lot. And it smells so good. It smells very, very good. Just trying to get it in little, small, little, small, fine little pieces. That's pretty much it. Now, I'm gonna get the meat and jump it in. I can actually put this in here, but I just want to put it in. No you don't have to do this. You can do it your way. You can actually make the chili here and you can be able to serve it in a few. But I want it here because I want to go watch some of them Christmas movies and I can get whatever I need to get out of the way in here. So, and I, I want to get all my meat. I'm one of them people that when you eat, I don't leave no crumbs behind. Some people do. I scrape everything out the doggone pot plate, containers, all that. I want all my money's worth. You don't believe in wasting food here, okay? Not on this channel. Now, I'm gonna put the seasoning in here and I'm gonna stir it. And I'm after that's done, I'm gonna just close the pot up and let it cook, okay? It's that simple. It's that simple. Now, if I wanted more to have to cook for a bigger family, you know, I know I would get probably two uh, or three of those containers of ground turkey, two cans of kidney beans, and another can of the uh, tomatoes. That's if you want to make it for a bigger, or stretch it double for a family, you know, you cook it more than just three or four people. It's just me and boo things so this will be enough for us for a couple of days so i can spin it out of something different okay so i'm just gonna let this cook and simmer and then when we get back i'm gonna show you how i eat it on a spin on okay see you in a few so since the chili is done i put it in a lock small container over here camera purposes I'm gonna bring back what I liked as a child when I used to go visit my grandmother in Compton it used to be a ice cream truck that used to come around and they would have Fritos of course the Frito bags weren't this small okay this is like a little toddler size they were a lot bigger it used to be like this 
back in our time. If you know what I'm talking about, my generation, y'all know what I'm talking about, okay? And I got some fresh cheddar cheese that I just put in a little container, okay? So we can adjust it all up. And who think he never tried this. This is his first time. And I've been telling him about my childhood. Y'all can do a Frito, see how the little Fritos is? Yeah, I know, I know. But we gonna make the work. So, let's put some cheese in it. I mean, put some chili in it. Ooh, that thing is hot, just like they used to do with us. Ooh, man. Oh, oh it's, it's smelling. Ooh, it's smelling good. Woo! Oh, man, I'm getting excited. Just a little bit more, just a little bit. This is a good new nice little, see, look how they look. I wish y'all can smell it. Ooh, I'm gonna put a little spoon in here. I'm gonna use this in here because I'm gonna let Boo Bang try it. When you cook in the kitchen, make sure you clean up as you go so you don't have a big old mess, okay? I cleaned up as I was going while I was waiting on the chili in the process, okay? So I'm putting it up in here. Ain't gonna let that milk. Look at that. Y'all gotta see it, get into it. And I'ma try it. But then I'ma call him in here and let him try it. But I'ma give it for a sex too. Man, if that don't bring back memory, I don't know what to tell me. This is so good. My mom used to make these too. When we used to play double dish, my friends in the neighborhood on the west side used to come over here and she used to surprise us. Man, that stuff tastes so good. We used to just, just eat. Let me try it one more time. Boo thing gonna have to get another one too. I'm gonna share with him. I'm gonna call him first and then I'm gonna let him try. Let's call him. Boo 